Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. I've been uh, listening to a few podcasts, some uh, true crime, stuff like that. And it is amazing what some people say. And I'm like, man, I don't know if I could say those kinds of things out in in the air about, you know, drug traffickers and stuff like that. I mean, these guys are reporters and they're constant. That's their job, right? To report and to make stories and they're journalists and but man some of these guys are involved into some great some crazy stuff with some really dangerous people and um man i just i don't know man that's i was uh i was listening to this one podcast and i was like man i wish my podcast was like that i wish i could have people like that that were journalists or ex-cia officers or agents that are that go on there and they talk about all this crazy stuff but i feel like you get like a target put on your back when you have these people on your show right but uh it is really it's really cool to see and and at the same time it is very sad to if these people are being 100 percent honest about the corruption and about all the stuff that they have to do it is very sad the kind of country the kind of world that we live in that um you know all the stuff that happens behind closed doors and uh you know it just it is it is unfair but uh you know it's corruption it's corruption it's money and uh unfortunately until we we're never going to fix anything unless we fix corruption but since corruption drugs and all that generate a lot of money i don't know when we're actually going to fix anything and uh you know it's just uh you you see these kinds of stuff and you listen to these guys and you're like man like that's there's just so much stuff going on and there's so much stuff that we don't know that uh it's very it's very troublesome right all the stuff that they keep away from us and i understand some of the stuff has to be kept at closed doors because uh, like i said i think i said this before some of us, some people in this country, some people in this world, they're only a hair away from losing their shit. So anything that comes out of some somebody's mouth, some politician or president or whatever, it can freak them out. And you definitely have to be careful. They have to be careful what they say because these, some people are very unstable. I mean, if they were to come out and say the aliens are right here, we're talking to them, listen, people would freak out. They'll start going out there and trying to they'll try to buy all kinds of stuff and build and, and start digging holes to make bunkers and I mean people will lose their shit. You know what I mean? So I understand some of the stuff has to kept has to be kept secret. And I understand that in order to defeat the bad guy, some things have to be done. And uh you know, there was this one I'm not gonna mention the name of the show and I'm not gonna mention the the ex CIA officer but I was listening to this one guy that was uh, he was way up there and he was incarcerated for espionage, right? And he talks about uh, he was he's basically for human rights and he doesn't want the the prisoners or the terrorists to be uh, to be what would you how would I put it? He doesn't want them to be uh, he doesn't want them to be waterboarded. He doesn't want them to be tortured to get information out and uh he doesn't agree with any of that and you know there's some things for instance that that uh, we don't know and these guys are trying to get information out of people and sometimes you, those people are unwilling to talk and there's measures extreme measures that you have to take or they have to take in order to get that information out of the terrorist Right out of that person, I'm not. I'm not sure if I disagree or or agree. Uh, if I agree or disagree with that, to be honest, I don't know. I think that if you had something to do with killing a bunch of people, I think that uh, it shouldn't matter. I think you basically lost your human rights because you you took life. Now, if that's the only way you can extract information, I get it. But if you're going to use that kind of, if you're going to use that kind of tactic, then you have to make sure that these people are the correct people and you're not using these tactics for innocent people, especially for innocent 
there's a lot of innocent people in jails and stuff like that that uh you know that